We're back in the sandbox. Yes, the Green Army Men mod is back in Ravenfield. And I've got a question. What if who we had to fight wasn't just the tan army men? What if this was like one of my favorite, albeit silly, hokey movies of all time? Starship Troopers. What if it was bugs that were attacking Whiskey Outpost, but Whiskey Outpost was made out of plastic? Because it's Green Army Men. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm hoping that we hold the line, but as you can- Oh my god, they can fly. Okay, that's not the least bit terrifying. And they look like these, like, almost like hybrids of, like, cockroaches and praying mantises. So, I've parked myself right at this front door, and, uh, you know- Oh, are you guys retreating? What the- What are you retreating for? Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> these things look so creepy. Uh... Yeah, the flyers are getting in and completely distracting my men. Let's get a closer look at some of these bugs. Is this guy alive? <laughs> They're just pouring over the walls. You guys, I, I need some freaking reinforcements over here. What are you doing? Get your guns out and go boom, boom, boom until they die, die, die. It's, it's, come on, you apes. <laughs> Do you want to live forever? I mean, ooh. I'm pretty sure that was friendly fire. So we've got an assortment of weaponry here. I feel like the machine gun's pretty good, but maybe the shotgun's gonna do as good as well. We also have a flamethrower, which I think we're gonna need to employ. Oh, okay. We spawned up here probably because we're getting overrun, but this is what I guess whiskey outpost and green army man looks like. What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> I feel like I'm trap shooting right now, but I'm trap shooting bugs. How is he still alive? What the heck? We have air support? Nobody's using it. Oh god. That's not the least bit terrifying. No, we're totally fine. I'm- I love bugs. Giant bugs that are the size of me that are gonna eat me. So we have what looks like a Vietnam era jet. Is this the F4 Phantom? I've got a 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. Oh. I guess it's more of a 20 millimeter autocannon. And I, I kept my landing gear down because I, I totally knew I was going to hit the ground there. Now, I've got air-to-air -air missiles. Those are not going to help. And then I've got heavy bombs. Oh, you see that big line of bugs making their way for the gate? That's who we're going to drop the bomb on. Come on, boys! Yes! Now, obviously, the bugs have names because, you know, spoiler alert, the humans are the bad guys in Starship Troopers. All right, we're coming in again. Oh, we're dropping napalm. Yes! Uh oh. Now, what happens if I go behind enemy lines? That little mound looks like where they're coming from. I'm gonna try to take it over. This is not a good idea. Oh god, you, you hear that? That's a really not nice sound. Oh, they, they come from further back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna private mission. <laughs> Them taking off from the ground and, and like not getting to see their wing animations is hilarious. Like, Look at the, the little legs moving. I love it. They're just like, they're little scary thingies. Oh, hello. Mods be modding. But this is what I love about Ravenfield is the fact that we do have this as a mod. Oh, okay. Um, the enemy capture point can't be captured. So we're back at the base and my men are like all kinds of disorganized. Oh man, I got to get up in that machine gun tower. It's going to be tricky because, well, there's bugs everywhere. Oh, the shotgun's amazing. Oh God. I mean, you still have to hit him. Get up that ladder. I don't think the bugs are gonna be able to get up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's ramp up the difficulty. The difficulty slider was here. Let's drop down to here. I feel like this could be its own game, you know? Green army men versus bugs. And that, that, that's, that begs the question. Who would like to see, get off of me. <laughs> More Green Army Men games. Is it just me? I feel like these videos with Green Army Men always do a decent amount of views. Oh man, trying to shoot them thing in the air? It's gonna be really tricky. All right, I gotta get back to hitting these ground units. Now, we have less men than them. Oh God. This is when things start to go south. They just like para-drop into our base. But I, oh, I, it looks like I can cover the front door here. Not extremely well, but I'd say decently well. And this is what I love. Look at them. They, they can just simply like climb over. Okay. There we go. I finally got one. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> They're overrunning our base. <laughs> this is Starship Troopers if it was Green Army Men. Oh! 
They snuck up there and stabbed me in the heart with their talons. A bug named Hal what? got me. Can I get on top of the base? Oh man, this is how you survive the apocalypse. Oh, you know what? I think it's time. We get out the flamethrower. The only good bug is a dead bug. Oh my gosh. All right, what's my kill feed at? 39? That's... Oh, I guess we did restart the game. I was like, it's gotta be higher than that. We're not stopping till we get 100, boys. Now we are losing men now that they're inside the base. Oh, wait a minute. Bugs just started jumping. How did they get up there? Look at how many bugs there are. What is going on right here? Wait a minute. They took our flag and are respawning here. Oh my God, this is, I'm just burning everybody. All right, I gotta, oh God, oh God. I've gotta take the flag back. Oh God, they're behind me. Okay, uh, that is pretty terrifying. Turning up the difficulty makes it, well, dang near impossible because now there's no more capture points. So if I deploy, well, pack your bags, boys, the game's over. And this is where I feel like Ravenfield needs its own siege mode. Cause what we need is like maybe right here. And we have a whole assortment of weapons. I'm just not sure how many of them are actually good at killing bugs. Like a sniper rifle is great if you have one bug to kill, but when you've got hundreds, we've fought at the front gate, we fought in a guard tower. I wanna see what it's like to hold the wall. This is one of those where I feel like the game design could be something to the effect of like, all the people defending the base are players playing a first person shooter game. And the person attacking the base with the bugs is actually, it's like a gestalt consciousness, hive mind type situation, right? It's one person playing a real time strategy game. I think, I don't know how it would be balanced, but I know it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, this sniper rifle isn't necessarily the best. All right, <laughs> and the bugs are flying in. So I guess ultimately what we need to do is the battle plan needs to be to protect the flag point at all costs. Okay, my guys are already pulling away from the walls. I don't know what's going on with the AI, but that means what's about to happen is this. I've only got what, 40 rounds in my mag before I have to refill it. I need a heavy machine gun. Oh, Hertz Reno bug just killed my soul. Oh, I had a flamethrower, what an idiot. All right, I'm gonna retake that gate, I promise. I promise you, all right, I'm dropping plastic, which is ammunition and health. We're gonna get the flamethrower and we are retaking the gate. Cause if they just start pulling in here like they are. Oh, sorry boys. Yeah, plastic men and fire don't do well. Oh my goodness, I just killed I, what felt like 20 of them. All right, we're gonna try to use this to get an unfair advantage. Run along the side here and jump down and retake the gate. Or I guess what would even be safer is just do this. There we go. I mean, I protected like, if we had three smart dudes, we probably could have held this side of the gate. Oh man, now they're just pouring in right there. Oh, this is not good. They've taken the flag point, And as a result, they're overrunning the base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laughs maniacally as his whole team gets wiped out by a bunch of bugs. I'm one of the last surviving guys. That was the last surviving guy. I'm pretty sure. They're all down there and I'm up here. I guess in theory, I could continue killing them all. Look at them starting to scramble. Like, oh my God, there's a dude with a machine gun up there. What are we gonna do? I don't know actually what you're gonna do. If I could call in napalm strikes or reinforcements. Oh, this game. This could be a game, guys. Look at them just sitting behind the sandbags. They're lining up having a tea party right there. What are you looking at? That's right. Oh, that's cool. The fire actually like, oh man. I never noticed this about the flamethrower before. It's actually like really, really good. I mean, I knew it was good, but I didn't know the physics were like this. So we've been defeated. Green army men versus bugs. Should this be a thing? Should we flesh it out? If so, what would you like to see in the next modded map? And thanks for watching.